Morning, golf cart Jackie. Good morning, sir. How are you, my friend? I'm a lot better now. Check these things out, huh? Look at that. Santa Claus how came. Did, how did you pull this off, my friend? Well, I'm not real sure, but we had to do some sweet talking. Oh, West Virginia Joe gave us the hookup here. You talked to West Virginia Joe? Yep. Actually, we got uh, Adrian hooked up with him, and we got a contract. We're going to have to give him some oats. Um, yeah, so he gave us some equipment to use here. I thought he was kind of a hermit. I was afraid to go there. I was thinking about it, but I, uh, you know, West Virginia kind of thing. Well, you know, I seen all those toys sitting there, and I just couldn't help myself. How, how can you got the yellow and, yellow and black one? Because uh, he likes me better. Oh, he likes you? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. That's simple, I really. I mean, that's okay. Yeah, you know. All right, he'll I'll come around, I'm sure. Yeah, I'll just... I'll, I'll have to butter him up. Got the little Nokian street tires on there. These things are cool, man. We even got a water container and a trailer to go with it for I crying know, out loud. I got, look, I can put my wool pellets on here. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, you know, I, I got to tell you, um, I was, when I was out of town the other day, uh, a local sent me a home video of you and your wool hauling. Oh. Um Really? Yeah. I didn't think uh, anybody was around for that. No, I was going to bring that up, but I, I I thought maybe it was a sore subject. Uh, but... Well, I I wasn't as sore as that wool pellet was. Um, <laughs> okay. It was a little bruised by the time we got there. So if you need if you need a better trailer, I'm all for it. I to make your life easier, I'm all for it. Something uh, a little bit safer for the pedestrians and uh, you know other traffic goers. Yeah, it's kind of ironic. I was, I, when I was coming back into town, it seems like it's, it's busier around here lately. It really is, hasn't it? Yeah, business has picked up. People are moving in. Well, there, right. there's these hot new farmers in town. we got to come check it out, see what's going on here. Well, hot farmers in tight, starchy pants. I mean, right. well, how can you go wrong there? Just prancing around in their new gators, huh? Yeah, yeah you betcha. It makes you jump for joy. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. <laughs> Cry. Okay, so... Anyways, uh, what do we got going on today? We're gonna. You're, uh, oh, uh, well, I suppose we can we can tell the uh, the folks as we get going here. Yeah, what's going we'll on, fill but, them in on that as we go. Yeah, fill them in on all this good stuff here. I tell you what, Adrian, and then the uh, Joe from West Virginia. Uh, very kind, very kind. Yep, you bet. We, we are lucky, lucky guys. Lucky. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do then. Uh, I'll head down to your place, and I'll start planting, and I'll get that done. Oh, oh I did a cow farm first, but... I am going to go... Actually, I'm going to... We purchased a new field, so I'm going to go cut that and start making silage bales. Sounds like a good plan to me, my friend. Yeah. How about if I catch up with you later when um, we're going to do some corn planting? Yeah, absolutely. Let me know when you're ready, and we'll jump on 69 there, and we'll knock that thing out. Hit but, me up on the old CB here. I think this thing's got a CB in it. Yeah, it'd be all right. Did you just say, did you just ask me to jump on 69? No. Six, Come 69. on. What? Field, field 69, right? Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. Dirty okay. boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. huh. That's Never it. mind. I'm out of here. Right. I'm not gonna. Uh, uh, yeah, don't ask. Hey, you want to race? Let's go. Oh, I gotta start my engine. Nah. <laughs> That's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. Oh, I gotta figure out what side of the road I'm supposed to be on. I got hazard lights on. Don't these people know what's going on here? Oh, crap, I hit a blue card. <laughs> I'm gonna hit something. I have my hazard lights on. Oh, I ran a tree. <laughs> it didn't work. No, it didn't work. <laughs> uh, did you see where the one guy posted the comment that you don't use hazard lights in the day? I said, that's nonsense. Oh, really? Yeah, well, he said... Uh, I've never driven there, to be fair, so... I haven't either. <laughs> Once we get there, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, I see. Put those on. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I get it now. Turn those things on. That's what they're there for. Yeah, they're only supposed to be used if you're stopped in an emergency along. Really? I mean, crazy, dumb. Right. I was, yeah. All right, I get it. Well, in that case, there. Yeah, I'll turn them off. Well, 
Yep, I am here. I'm I'm gonna go get to work. All right, my friend. I'm gonna go to. Uh, let's see, how do I do that? There we go. All right, I'm gonna get busy. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye. See ya. All right. Well, made it back. Unscathed. I don't know about that other guy. The radio got kind of quiet there. That was kind of weird. Anyways, we got some work to do. We are going to go do some mowing. Like we've never done that, right? Uh, let's see. I do not need the tether. See if I can swing the front end around here to drop it off. Oops. I need to switch to that right there. Okay. So, what we got going on is the field right beside our big field, 69 right here. I forget the number, 70 or 71. Um, we talked Adrian into purchasing this field with the agreement that we would put oats in it and um, sell the oats to West Virginia Joe up at his little uh, horse deal up there at the barn. So... He's got a bunch of horses and he needs to feed them and uh, doesn't really have enough land to grow the proper amount of oats. So we bought this grass field right here, right across from the farm. Not exactly a convenient entrance all the way down the road over there, but what we're going to do is we're going to cut this grass. We're going to make silage bales and sell the bales. We're going to use that money to offset some of the cost here, uh, pay off the bank loan. We do have a bank loan now, $120,000. So we went from nothing for a long time to, to right up in the middle of it, but that's all right. We can pay that off pretty quickly. I feel good about it. I think it's a good investment. And um, yeah, you know, just needed another, another source of income and some more land around here, so. Pretty good sized field here. Got some trees we're gonna have to do something with eventually, but um, the plan right now is to leave the trees and come in and plow it all up and make an arable field out of it, so that's what we're gonna do. At least immediately the trees aren't going anywhere. We'll just kinda work around them. Um, kinda, those are the trees that are kind of a pain to process, so. Maybe we'll get a chipper in here and make some wood chips out of them. And we'll figure something out. Right, let's see, where should we start? Let's go backwards. I was watching, I think, Mr. Sealy P the other day, and he called it anti-clockwise. I like that. That must be a across-the-pond kind of thing. But we're going to go anti-clockwise here. Yeah, let's listen to me, right? Uh, anyways... So I'm going to jump on this, get this knocked out. We will go get, I guess I'll go get the Fint and start bailing because I have loaned out my 6 Series, the John Deere, to Farmer Men to pull his new toy. He's got a new toy, a big planter over there, part of our loan that we're in the hole for. And what else? There was something else we bought. Oh, we got a corn header for the Rostel Mash and... I still think there was something else over there, but I can't remember. Oh, excuse me. Bless me there. I almost snuck up on me. Um, yes. Anyways. So, let me go knock this out. We'll get some of this done. Uh, make some silage bales in here. I'll probably come back when I'm done um, baling. And by that time, hopefully, Farmer Men will be done playing with his new toy over on Field 1 over there. And he'll be ready to uh, put the corn in Field 69. So, we got two of those little row crop planters for 69. They're both 4 meters. We're going to use both of our tractors and jump on them. And um, see if we can knock that field out pretty quick. 8 meters at a time should go fast. And save us the money of having to buy a bigger planter, which would require a bigger tractor. So... That's the plan there. We'll just use two tractors to do one job and hopefully knock it out twice as fast there. Yeah, that's, I think we got it though. I think we got it. We're on to something here. We are making it. Alright, let me go do that. I will be right back. Alright, well we're up here at Farmer Men's place. 
Uh, at least temporarily. I heard rumor he may be moving over to the cow farm over there. I don't blame him. That'd be a little upgrade. And the house here is a little bit close to the, uh, you know, the uh, awesomeness that is bacon, let's say. The fragrance of fresh bacon, let's put it that way. Uh, yeah, I'd probably move too. But that's all right. Anyways, we came to get the fent. And I figured since I was coming up here, I needed a ride. I didn't want to leave one and... Um, you know, something we couldn't use, so. Field 39 needs to be cultivated, so I figured I would bring the big boy up. This is Sir Reginald Wigglebottom. That's what I have decided to name him. He is of the highest class of royalty. Sir Reginald Wigglebottom III, I believe it was. And yeah, you don't want to mess with that dude. Anyways, look at this setup, huh? Haven't got to use it yet, but I got it all hooked up. There's those guys, those guys. I don't know about those guys. You know, he says they're cutouts. They look kind of like clones to me. I ain't saying, I'm just saying, you know. I don't know what's going on over there. Anyways, we got some tanks on this thing we're going to have to fill up. And I think I'm going to take them back to my place. We'll get them filled up down there, and I can start on the grass fields down there, so... I am definitely going to use uh, the Fint anyways to do the bailing and wrapping while the John Deere is in service. So we may as well take these with us. I'm even going to duck out the back way. I finally learned my way around here. And I learned why I keep coming out the back way when I take this left. It's one left too early, but that's alright. This time is what we want, so we'll avoid all the traffic and come around the back way. We hope to avoid all the traffic anyways. Can't avoid the trees there, can I? Anyways, yeah, we'll take this back. We'll have to worry about getting some pesticides or herbicides in here a little bit later. As of right now, I think we're okay. The grass fields are ready to go. They're all fully fertilized, so I expect some weed problems at some point. Uh, not necessarily out of the grass fields, but I think that's what we're going to use these tanks for is some uh, herbicide there. That's the, the working plan anyways. So yeah, big things going on here. Big things. We are in debt. We are a little bit more wealthy when it comes to land holdings. And we have a contract with a pretty cool new dude. Man, that tree really stopped us there. <laughs> they probably poked a hole in that tank up there. Better check that thing out when we get where we're going. That was pretty brutal there. Come to a complete stop. Anyways, so yeah, we're going to be working with West Virginia Joe, get some oats going, and uh, sell him some oats, and we're going to use some of his toys while we're at it, so that's pretty cool. I am looking forward to that gator, man. That is a pretty slick ride. He, he hooked us up with the turbo version, too, so it is not a regular gator by any means. A little splash down here. Yeah, so we're both going to jump on that field right there. You can probably see why with four meters uh, worth of planter, you're going to be there for a little bit. So, that's the plan. It'll be fun. I'll chase that guy around the field and see if we can catch him. And, yeah, finally get some crop in the ground. My goodness, it feels like we've been here forever. We've done a whole lot of work, don't get me wrong. We, there's been very few supervising days going on here, but... Man, the work just keeps on going and doesn't feel like we're gaining any ground, so. Let's see, where are we going to drop these tanks? We're going to put them out back over here. Heaven forbid I leave them in between these two buildings right here. My goodness. I didn't think anybody used this back way right here. And as soon as I drop that John Deere here, here he come. I'm still hearing about it. It's all right. I get it. It's in the way. But these aren't in the way. We can come back here and drop these bad boys off. And look at that. Whoops. Close enough. We'll be able to get it out of there, I think. Uh, let's see, what's in there? That's a silo in there. Don't want to leave them there. We'll just pull them in here, I think. Let's see. 
switch? Can I lower? Nope, just drop. That's all we can do. Okay. It don't matter. Had a hole in it anyways, didn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's go grab the baler. Get that work over here. I know where he's at. I assume he would be done with field number one by now. Oh, well, part of the toys that we bought, I guess I was going to explain that. Part of what we had going on up there was a potato planter. We have the uh, potato harvester with the creepy cutout dudes on it. Slash clones. And we didn't have any way to put potatoes in the ground, so... Had to make an investment on that. That's a no-brainer. Uh, if you're going to do potatoes, you're, you're going to have to have a planter sooner or later, so... We got that. We got the corn header, so we can actually harvest some corn. And we had our two toys. I think that was it. I think that's all we had. Anyways. Yeah. We're doing good. We are doing good. Where did he go? And to look up in the field over there. Looks done to me. Huh. Wonder where he went. He was supposed to call me when he was ready to do 69 over here. He must not be ready to go yet, so. I'm going to keep on carrying on over here. We'll get as much knocked out as we can. We need this money, so. Go ahead and, I mean, if we get, what, ten or $15,000 off here? I think that would be pretty reasonable for this field. I love this baler. Not only do I love that it's chain driven, which is just cool to look at, it's actually, uh, the pickup on it is super wide, so. It is very forgiving when it comes to picking up a swath. Makes me look a lot better than I probably am, but that's alright. I like it. Well. Yeah. That's it for a little while. Uh, I guess let's take a ride. We'll go make some bales, see if we can make this exciting. I'll be, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, well, there we go. I said I was going to follow him and do some headlands here. I guess he had a different idea. That's alright. It's all got to get planted, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, we did uh, We did alright today. So we got the field mowed, got it bailed and wrapped, sold already. Uh, made some good money off of that. Almost $20,000 for 16 bales. That's not bad at all. No, wait. That's too many bales. 14 bales, I think we had. Too many. But that's all right. Either way, we made pretty decent money off of it. And now we are both over here on the cornfield. We are going to knock this thing out. Like I say, 8 meters at a time. Seeming like a whole better whole better plan than uh, 4. So, for a field of this size anyways. So, yeah. We got that going. We are... Yeah, planting season has begun. We are finally underway here. It feels like it was a little bit late. Like it took us a while, but... I'm gonna have to talk to this guy. 
I don't know about this guy sometimes. Maybe we got the clone in there. We'll pile up in the fence here. There we go. Alright, so. Somehow, he ended up in my ride, I ended up in his. And we're putting corn in the ground. Uh, I like it. You see, he got, uh, I think he got everything else planted. I got the baling done, so let's see, what does that leave us? We got herbicide to spray, we gotta get rid of the weeds, and we have, we will have to fertilize the fields that he planted one last time, so. That's about it, that's all we got going on, that is a good deal. We, uh, felt like we went from getting nothing done to all of a sudden we're ahead of schedule, so. I'm pretty okay with that. I'm not, not upset at that at all. I'll follow this guy around the field a couple of times here. Maybe we can divide and conquer once we get a, a lap around. We'll go go our separate ways here. He'll take one side, I'll take the other. That's pretty good. Pretty good. We'll have to go. We didn't get to see his big toy in action, so I'll have to go check that out on I think there's a video out about it see what he got and what he's got going on but man that thing looked cool I like it I guess we'll just knock this little corner out all right I can do it I can dig it and I'm with you Dragging him across the edges here. That's what he's not wanting to do. He's going to full bite. That's all right. I'll drag the teeth off of it. All right. Well, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I think that about covers it. We are off and running. And hopefully we'll have something ready to harvest here very soon because our animals are starting to get a little hungry and... The pins are starting to look a little barren without straw in them, so we got some things that we need. We need harvest season to come pretty quickly, so tell you what, I'm going to follow that guy around a little bit more. We are uh, we're going to do it. We're going to get it, I promise. But I want to thank you for coming and hanging out with us. I am Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day. <laughs>